Hello everybody, I'm sitting down with Landon Moss, one of the top viners in the game, and I cannot believe he's sitting right next to me. What's going on, Landon? Thank you for having me. So we know you went to Coastal Carolina, but where did you grow up? I grew up in Junction City, Kansas, uh, Kansas. the middle of nowhere. Uh, There's a lot of white girls though, so it was pretty cool. When did you start with the whole Vine thing? It was like 2013. Where were you, in high school? Yeah, I was in high school, I was 18. Okay. And so I was in my basement like every day, I'd be like bored as hell, so I was like mm, doing like weird stuff in my basement. I ain't got no manners for no sluts. For no sluts. I'ma put my thumb in a bet. Put the mother nut on mother. I'm looking back on it like, man, that was kind of that was kind of weird. So does your family support you in your vine endeavors? Yeah, my dad's like 100% behind and my mom is to everybody. But I didn't tell my mom I had left school for like four months. So she'd call me like, hey, how's your game going? I'm like, oh yeah, we won, uh, play, got two catches, 23 yards, like making stuff up. No way. But she was in Africa, so she had no clue. So did you enjoy your time at Coastal? Um, what made you go there? The uh, football program, because I went there uh, full scholarship mm -hmm. uh, to play football and then uh, and then it was like a party school too. And so may that have been the reason you stopped playing football? Well, I registered my freshman year, so like okay. I didn't even play. So I was like, man, I might as well just party while I'm here. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, going ham, doing a lot of stuff I wasn't supposed to do. Now it's in Myrtle Beach. Isn't that a very touristy town? Around the spring, it'd be like a lot of tourists. But I mean, even they would come to house parties and stuff, which is kind of weird. I'm like, you go to Coastal? I'm like, no, dude, I'm just here for spring break. I'm like. How the hell you get here? I'm like, fuck it. Now tell me this, how are the parties out here in Los Angeles now that you have this huge following? Being out at Coastal, it was kind of like, there wasn't much that came from like Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So it was like, oh, this dude's like, you know what I'm saying, Vine famous. So like a lot of people tended to like gravitate towards me, which was cool. Mm -hmm. And I never took for granted, but uh, it was cool. Like the women used to, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that was dope. But like out here, it's like, you're in LA. So it's like the city of stars, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So everybody's big. So now it's kind of yeah. like, Oh, you're a viner, like, yeah, at the yeah. bottom of the barrel, so. <laughs> so tell me, what is it like being a vine star? Uh, I'm sure it's different for me and then other vine stars, because me, I don't do anything. I, like, I make vines, um, invite girls over from Tinder, and, uh, that's about it. Now, obviously, L.A. is a whole different world. Have any crazy things happened to you since you've been here? All right, this, this girl, she came <laughs> shit. <laughs> I live with nine guys, so it's ten of us in there, and this girl came over. <laughs> This is what happened. So me and one girl were Netflix and chilling. And so then my other roommate, one of the other nine roommates, he was Netflix and chilling with another one. So then after we got done Netflix and chilling, we were like chilling and went back to the living room and then a <laughs> and then a No more. I mean, we were just chilling watching Netflix. It wasn't nothing serious. Now, I did not know Netflix and chilling was such a prominent course of action out here in Los Angeles. So I was thinking you're a Vine star. How about you and I make a Vine about that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, Landon, are you trying to like Netflix and chill? Are you, what is my body? Are you, what to do is hurt me? Is it something I said?